Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. And today, today Jeannie Young is gonna show you all how to make a cherry cordial cheesecake. I'm in the mood for some dessert. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how simple this can be made. It's a lot of fun to make and it tastes so good. Here's what you'll need to make Gina Young style cherry cordial cheesecake. Okay, everybody, here's what you will need. You will need brownie mix, okay? Whatever type of brownie mix that you would like to use will be absolutely just fine, okay? This is the kind that I'm going to use, and I'm going to use the ingredients that are called for on the back of this box, which is one fourth cup of cold water, two thirds cup of vegetable oil, and two large eggs. Now, if you don't use this box, of brownie mix and you use a different kind, yours might call for different ingredients, all right? You will need no-bake cheesecake mix. You're gonna need milk for your no-bake cheesecake mix, and you will also need cherry pie filling, okay? So then, over here, I have the pan that we're gonna use and I've put some uh, vegetable oil in there so that our dessert does not stick. This recipe is so interesting. I just made it up one day. I think I made it up last year and I can't stay away from it. I literally make this probably once every two months. My family adores this recipe. Let me show you how quick and simple this can be made. Make sure that you preheat your oven if you haven't done so. Okay, I'm just opening up my box of brownie mix. I don't have my milk out on the counter because I just like for it to stay nice and cold. Okay, so we're just gonna put our brownie mix into our bowl, just like so. Every recipe that I make in this kitchen, really, is very simple, lots of fun, and you can do it as well. Absolutely you can. I don't make any recipes that are hard to make. Next thing that we want to do is go ahead and crack your eggs into a separate dish. And the reason why I like to crack my eggs always into a separate dish is because if you have a bad egg and you crack it into your mixture, you have to throw all your mixture away. Or if you have an eggshell, you have to throw everything away. That way you crack it into another bowl and you can be assured that your eggs are just fine with no shells. All right, so then let's put our oil in and we are going to use two thirds cup of vegetable oil, okay? Okay, we have two thirds cup of vegetable oil. Honestly, if you wanted to use coconut oil or olive oil, that would be fine as well. Okay, get that in there. And then we're gonna need some cold water. And we're gonna put one fourth of cold water into our measuring cup. Anytime you're measuring out ingredients for um, some type of dessert, you always wanna measure it to where Perfect measurements, okay, so that it comes out just fine. I'm gonna set that on the counter and make sure that I have one fourth exactly. It's a little over, so I need to pour a little bit out, just like so. I have one fourth of cold water going in, just like so. Now, here's the thing. If you don't have a handheld mixer, you don't have to use that. If you wanted to use a stand-up mixer, you can, or if you even wanted to mix this by hand, absolutely you can, okay? I'm gonna use the handheld mixer, and what I'll do, I'll put the video on pause so that you all don't have to hear the noise of the mixer. Be right back. Take your time to mix this well through so that you have no batter that's unmixed. You wanna make sure everything is well incorporated. Okay, our mixture is nice and well blended. Now, some of you that have been following me for quite some time might say, Gina, we've already seen you make that before. And the, yes, that's true. 
Absolutely you did. And the last one that I made, that was my very first one. I came up with that recipe and I have already shared it. I just figured today I wanted to make it again. I had a taste for it. So why not upload it? For those of you that are new to my channel and haven't had a chance to see my desserts yet. So I'm going to show you all how simply you can make this. Watch this. So we're not going to fill this up all the way. We're not going to use all the batter. Okay. And some of you might say, oh my gosh, Gina, like you're not going to use all the batter. So what are you going to do with the rest? Well, we're going to take the rest and we are going to bake the rest. We're not going to waste anything. So you don't have to worry about that. We'll take the rest that's unused and we'll throw it in another cake pan and we'll bake it off. Okay. And then me and the kids will go with that. <laughs> Absolutely, we will. Nothing is going to go to waste. All right? Watch this here. So then, you see how much I've left? And I just have another pan that is exactly like this one. And I'm going to pour this batter into that pan and bake that off as well. Okay? This is going to go in the oven. 350 degrees. When it's done, I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, everybody. Now, take a look. Take a look at this. In all of those holes, that's nothing. That's just my fork that I poked in. When you poke your fork in this way, it comes out nice and clean. That means your brownie's done, okay? And I got a little crazy, but who cares? Now, the reason for putting that little bit of brownie mix in is because we want room in this pan because we're going to do something special but before we do something special we need to take this and put it directly in the refrigerator put it at the bottom of your refrigerator and you want to get it nice and cold you can't complete the recipe unless this is stone cold let's get it nice and cold after it comes out i'll let you know exactly how long this took to cool down and then I'll show you what you're going to do next. Okay everybody, so our brownie is nice and cold and really all it took was 15 minutes in the bottom of the refrigerator. It's nice and cold, all right? So here's what we're going to do. When you buy the pre-made um, cheesecake filling mix, you just put your mixture into your bowl just like so and however much milk that your box calls for. And like I said, same with the brownie mixture. Whatever um, cheesecake filling you use, yours might call for a different amount. So mine's calls for one and a half cups of cold milk. You can use any type of milk you'd like to use. I'm using 2% milk, just like so. I am so excited for this recipe. I hope that each and every one of you that are watching today tries this recipe and let me know what you all think. All right, so you don't have to use your handheld mixer for this or a stand up mixer. You can just mix it by hand. Just be sure to get all of the lumps out that you can. And what will happen with this is literally, I'm serious, this will thicken up right before your own eyes. Okay, just make sure that you scrape your sides down to get all that goodness. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my brownie mix. I'm gonna mix it, I'm gonna mix it, guys. I'm gonna put some elbow grease in here so that we don't have any lumps. And any of this filling that's left over, don't worry, this will not get thrown away, okay? You can use this for multiple things. And I'll show you something else that you can do with this mixture, okay? that's left over. Beautiful, that's done. Let me grab my brownie, just like so. All right, <clears throat> here's our brownie. Here's our mixture. Your mixture gets poured, uh-huh. Oh yeah, it does, yeah, it does. Jeannie Young's getting crazy in this kitchen, right? You pour you some mixture on there. Be very careful not to pour too much, okay? Be very gentle. You all know how to be gentle, okay? Put you some on there in this manner, just like so, okay? 
and you want to smooth it out take your time to smooth it out and make it look nice don't just throw it on top all right you want to make sure that it's nice and flat sometimes when we put the filling on top you'll wind up with a, a higher mound in the middle but we want this to be to lay nice and flat all right, just like this. And now with this pan, I greased this pan ahead of time before I did the brownie mix, okay? Before I put the brownie mix in. Take your time, just like this. Like I told you all, this recipe is so amazing. I swear I eat this once, at least once every two, two months. It's amazing. And one day I was just sitting in my bedroom and I thought, I want to mix brownies. I love brownies. Who doesn't love brownies? I love brownies, and I absolutely adore cheesecake. And I thought, I want to mix the two together. Put me some cherries on top and call it Cherry Cordial Cheesecake. Really, I did. And I did it, and that's the day I fell in love. <laughs> I'm so serious. That is the day I fell in love with this recipe my goodness now what's going to happen we're going to get this nice and smooth and then we're going to put this in the refrigerator so that it can set up so now you see how important this is to cool your brownie mixture down okay because you don't want to pour this on top of your brownie mixture and the brownies or on top of your brownies and your brownie melts this because everything would go wrong Get your brownies nice and cold. Get this on there just like this. Beautiful. Let me know in the comment section below if you are or huge fans of cheesecake. Not only cheesecake, are you a fan of brownies? And if you are, you would absolutely love this recipe. Do you hear me? Hoo wee my goodness. That's beautiful. I don't want that mound. I see a high mound in the middle. I'm just gonna kind of scrape it off, just like so. There we go, I think I got what I'm looking for. Just like so. Now, this is going in the refrigerator until the cheesecake sets up. I'll be right back. Now this right here, this is not part of the recipe. This is just something I like to do when I have extra filling left over. Okay, now, and you could even take that brownie and you could crumble some brownie in here. You know, remember how we baked the extra brownies? You could put that in here as well. Now, what I did with those extra brownies, the kids ate them. <laughs> so that's how that went. The kids ate those extra brownies. I'm going to put some cherries down in here, just like so nice. And, isn't it beautiful? Then I'm going to go in. This is the graham cracker crumbs that comes inside of your box of the pre-made cheesecake. Get you some in there, okay? And here's the thing, when you do something like this, you can put as much as everything in there as you want. Nice and beautiful. This is something that we can enjoy tonight together as we're watching movies and just kind of relaxing, okay? I can cover this with plastic wrap. And really, you can just sit back and enjoy this as you enjoy the night. Look at this. There's so many things that you can make with pre-made cheesecake filling, cheesecake mix. Do whatever you want. Crumble you some brownies or cookies in there. This right here, absolutely amazing. Who wouldn't love it? Me personally, some of you might say, how come you put all those crumbs in the middle? I am a fan of the graham cracker crumbs. I absolutely adore them. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit more on here. Mmm, you see that? Hoo-wee, my goodness, my mouth is watering. Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that later. My goodness, mmm, watch this. Mm-hmm, I told you. I'm gonna put me some more on there. Get on there. Just like so. Mm-hmm. Push that down. Can I get any more on top? If I can, I'm gonna do so. Get right in there, just like that. 
Beautiful. Now, our cake, cherry cordial cake, will take round about a half an hour to set up properly. Once it sets up, when I come back, we're gonna say a prayer over our dessert. I'm gonna give it a taste. I'm gonna let y'all know what it tastes like. All right, look at this. Dessert fit for a king or a queen. And here's the thing, this right here, it didn't take any time. Like I said, this isn't the recipe. You know, the recipe is the cherry cordial cake, but I just wanted to show you all how many different things you can do with pre-made cheesecake mix. Look at this. Mm. I'll be back as soon as our cherry cordial cake, cheesecake sets up. Okay, everybody, take a look and my beautiful cheesecake brownie. This is what it should look like, and I kind of went like this, and you touch it, and just make sure it's nice and, you know, feel solid, okay? So, let me grab my knife that I'm going to cut this with. We're gonna put some of these beautiful cherry, cherry pie filling on, and you honestly, this one here I call the cherry cordial cheesecake. But if you're not a fan of cherries, absolutely, you can use any other pie filling or you can make your topping, all right? Absolutely, you can. Okay, everybody, let's give our pie filling a nice mix. And you put it on how you like it put on, all right? If you want a thin layer, then put a thin layer on, okay? If you want yours, if you want to put yours on after you slice it, absolutely you can, okay? It's really up to your discretion. I like to feel the whole top of the pie. Sometimes if I have someone that's really not a fan of pie filling, that I'll just do half with the berries and half plain, okay? And really, it's that simple. And like I said, you know, you can turn around and let everyone put their own cherries on top, okay? That's up to you. This is a beautiful presentation. It's nice and bright. This right here is so refreshing. This is amazing. All you need is a nice glass of cold milk. Put you some ice in that milk and go at this bad boy. This right here, this is Gina Young. Gina Young's Cherry Cordial Cheesecake. If y'all never had this before, you better make you some. Listen here, if y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you, so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome videos. Let's cut down into this bad boy. Okay, take a look at this, everybody. Take a look at this Gina Young style cherry cordial cheesecake. Look at that. That's what it should look like, and it'll set up just perfect for you, just like that. Now take a look at this. There's our slice, nice and beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Nice you have, so at the bottom, you have that beautiful chewy. Who doesn't love brownies? Who doesn't love brownies? Beautiful chewy brownies. You have cheesecake filling. And then of course you have these beautiful cherries. That's what we're calling the cherry cordial. Is this, is this a masterpiece? If y'all enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. Look at this. Let's give it a try. But we're gonna bless over this food first. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this meal today. We thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. I pray that you bless over all of my subscribers in Jesus' name, and I pray that no weapons formed against my sub subscribers shall prosper. We thank you, Lord, for this meal. We thank you for the roof over our heads and the love that you give us daily. Amen. Let's dig in. Give that a taste. Let me know in the comment section below what you all think about this. Quick and simple, and it tastes so good. Mmm. Oh, this right here. 
Mm -mm -mm. This right here is a match made in heaven. If you don't try this recipe, you're definitely missing out. Look at this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Every time I make it, nice and beautiful. Look at that. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And give me some more of that. Oh, my goodness. Who is that's good. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. And look how it, it stays together. It stays together. You keep this bad boy nice and cold, you're going to be happy. Mm. Make this for your loved one. Make this for someone just because. And watch the reaction that you get. Jeannie Young's Cherry Cordial Cheesecake 101. Look at that. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night. Mm, that's good. My goodness.